Now, electrochemical cell at the gives free energy. Free energy has symbol capital G. Now the electrochemical cell has a potential that is the E0 cell which is related with delta G0 and the formula is delta G0 equals minus NF E0 cell. Here N we know that the number of electrons which are transferred during the cell reaction. F is a Faraday constant and E0 cell is a standard cell potential. It uh, gives free energy change. Now we know that if delta G0 is less than 0 then reaction is spontaneous. This reaction is occurred spontaneous occurring on its own. So, if delta G is 0 is negative, that means E0 at that time must be positive. So, for electrochemical cells, standard cell potential is positive. Next one. Next is, if we consider this delta G0 and uh, what will be the unit of delta G0? So, N is the number of electrons, the number of moles of electrons. F has a, uh, is a Faraday constant and it has the value. 96487 coulomb and for simplification we are considering 96500 coulomb and the E0 cell has a normal unit and the unit is volt so that finally coulomb into volt and this multiplication is known as joule so if you are given E0 cell, so at that time we can take this delta G0 in joule unit. If E0 cell is in volt and F Faraday 96500 coulomb and n number of moles of electrons, then the value of delta G0 in the unit of joule. Zivers, if we want to put the value of delta G0 in the you are asked E0 cell, so at that time delta G0 unit, its unit will be energy. Next, so this one is the unit delta G0 equals minus NF E0 cell and this one is the basic formula. So if you are given that uh, what will be the value of delta G0 for Daniel cell. So we know that for the, uh, the symbolic representation of the Daniel cell is Zn, Zn, SO4, Cu, SO4 and C. So anode is a Zn and the Cu, Cu, SO4 is a cathode. So the E0 cell, for E0 cell you will be given the E0Z of cathode that is of uh, copper and E0Z of anode and that is zinc. It's a 0.34 and minus minus 0.76 volt. So 0.34 plus 0.76 volt and finally we are getting 1.1 volt. So this one is the E0 cell and for that you will be given the value of E0Z of cathode and anode both. So we can calculate simply E0 cell and then if you are asked the another thing that is the delta G0 for this Daniel cell so it has a formula delta G0 equals minus NF E0 cell and the N is the number of moles of electron F Faraday constant here number of moles of electrons will be 2 see how because we know that Zn undergoes oxidation reaction because it acts as an anode so at that time Zn is converted into Zn2 plus another Cu2 plus ion is converted into Cu so at that time the number of moles of electrons which are transferred from anode to cathode will be 2 per 1 mole of Zn so that N will be 2 F will be 96500 
and E0 cell is 1.1. So simply we can calculate the value of delta G0. So in common section, write down the answer of this multiplication sum. Now, today we are taking a one question which was asked in JWA Advanced 2013. This question is based on the electrochemical cells and the Gibbs free energy. See, in this question, E0, Fe3 plus Fe2 plus, Fe2 plus Fe, Cu2 plus Cu, Cu1 plus Cu, two reactions and another two the reduction potentials are given to you and the question is you are asked is your Fe3 plus 2 Fe and the answer will be any one from this similarly for the other reactions see in these reactions how can we calculate first of all this data is converted into the form of a diagram see it is Fe3 plus Fe2 plus and then Fe. So the value between Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus and this value is plus 0.77 volt. Fe2 plus to Fe the value is minus 0.44 volt and the final from Fe3 plus to Fe is asked to you here. So for that The formula is N E0 from first to last Fe3 plus Fe. Next one N E0 Fe3 plus 2 Fe2 plus and N E0 Fe2 plus 2 Fe. Here, n is the number of electrons and E0 is the value which is asked to you. On the other side, this n is for the number of electrons which are transferred when Fe3 plus is converted into Fe2 plus. So we know that this answer, Fe3 plus is converted into Fe2 plus. So at that time, one electron will be gained by Fe3 plus to give Fe2 plus. So here, n will be one. E0 Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus and this value is given into the data and it is plus 0.77 volt. Next. This N from Fe2 plus to Fe number of electrons will be 2 and the value is minus 0.44 volt and then this n will be 3 so you will get the value of Fe3 plus to Fe and it is 0 0.77 minus 0 0.88 divided by 3 so it is minus 0 0.11 by 3 so it is minus 0 0.033 3 is a 9 then 20 then 36666 six, 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 six. so our answer is minus 0 0.0367 here the approximate answers are given to you so 36 instead of it we can write minus 0 0.04 volt so this is our answer so our answer will be for Fe 3 plus 2 Fe it will be minus 0 0.04 volt hmm. Next is O2 plus 4H plus plus 4 electron gives 2H2. A first data is given to you. O2 plus 2H2 plus 4 electrons gives 4OH minus. Second data is given to you. And the question is given to you that 4H2O which is converted into 4H plus and 4OH minus. So what will be the value of E0 for the given reaction? And we have to use these two data see we want 4H2O and here in first equation 2H2O is at right hand side product side 
in second one 2H2O is at left hand side so if we take first reaction reverse means 2H2O gives O2 plus 4H plus plus 4 electron another is this reaction is taken as it is So when we take a sum of these, so here we can consider this reaction is an oxidation reaction, so it will be anode and here reduction reaction takes place, so this will be cathode. So while writing the total reaction, the same terms will be cancelled, O2 and 4 electron. So 2 plus 2, 4H2O, which gives 4H plus plus 4 OH so the desired reaction is formed by summation of first and second reaction here we have taken a change in first reaction so that the first reaction is as it is and the second uh, first reaction is reverse and the second reaction is as it is so anode and cathode so while writing the total here we will consider E0 red of cathode minus E0 red of anode. So at that time the value will be E0 red of cathode. Now cathode is O2 plus 2H2 plus 4 electron gives 4OH minus. Its value is 0.4 and the another is minus 1.23 volt. So our answer is minus 0.83 volt. So our answer will be number 4 for this reaction. Now you are asked the value of E0 value of the chemical reaction Cu2 plus plus Cu gives Cu1 plus again Cu1 plus. So in this reaction Cu is converted into Cu1 plus. Cu2 plus is converted into Cu1 plus. See. In both of the cases, so first reaction, Cu2 plus to Cu1 plus, here electrons will be added. So this one is a reduction reaction and the first one is an oxidation reaction. So the value of E0 total will be E0 rate of cathode minus E0 rate of anode. Now, in the form of the terms we can write here Cu2 plus to Cu1 plus E0 Cu1 plus to Cu. Now if we consider the data so only one value is given to you and that is Cu1 plus to Cu this one. This one is not given but another data is given to you and that is Cu2 plus to Cu and that is not in use. So for that we have to consider this diagram Cu2 plus to Cu1 plus to Cu. See so which values are given to you? Cu2 plus to Cu, it is plus 0.34 volt. Next one is Cu1 plus to Cu, and that is plus 0.52 volt. And the Cu2 plus to Cu1 plus is asked. So by this method we can calculate. So the formula we know that E0 from first to last equals first half and then second half this n will be 2 because Cu2 plus is converted into Cu by gaining of 2 electrons so number of electrons will be 2 E0 Cu2 plus 2 Cu that is given to you 0.34 volt Cu2 plus 2 
Cu1 plus and this change has one electron and E0 Cu2 plus 2 Cu which we want so that we can calculate the E0 total and then last n this n will be 1 and Cu1 plus 2 Cu is 0 0.52 volt so this multiplication 0.68 volt E0 Cu1 2 plus 2 Cu1 plus and this multiplication will be plus 0.52 volt so E0 Cu2 plus Cu1 plus it will be 0 0.68 minus 0 0.52 so this subsection will be 0 0.16 volt so E0 Cu2 plus to Cu1 plus is 0 0.16 volt so this value can be put into this question and the equation is E0 total Cu2 plus to Cu1 plus is calculated 0 0.16 minus E0 Cu1 plus 2 Cu which is given into the data 0.52 so this will be minus 0.36 volt and it is near about 0.4 volt minus 0.4 volt so R has answer number 2 now the S is E0 CR3 plus to CR2 plus equals how much? So we know that here the given data is CR3 plus to CR. CR3 plus to CR is minus 0.74 volt. Next, CR2 plus 2 CR minus 0 0.91 volt and you are asked CR3 plus to CR2 plus. So the formula will be N E0 CR3 plus to CR equals N E0 first half CR3 plus to CR2 plus plus n e0 cr2 plus 2 cr so this n will be 3 cr3 plus 2 cr minus 0.74 volt n cr3 plus 2 cr2 plus 1 n e0 cr3 plus 2 cr2 plus which we want to calculate plus n number of electrons from cr2 plus 2 cr number of electrons will be 2 and then minus 0.91 its potential so here it will be minus 2.22 equals n e0 cr3 plus to cr2 plus plus 2 into so here it will be negative because positive and negative and the answer is 2 so minus 1.82 volt so E0 will be so it will be minus 0.4 volt